Hi, my name is Jason Sesmundo. I'm a clinical specialist at Ventec Life Systems, but I'm also a respiratory therapist at the University of Washington Medical Center. Today I'm here to talk to you about Voxin. Voxin is a unified respiratory system that combines a critical care ventilator, an oxygen concentrator that can deliver up to six liters of flow equivalent, cough assist at the touch of a button, hospital grade suction that provides consistent high flows, and a high performance nebulizer that will automatically sync with the flow from the ventilator and turn off once the therapy is done. Now Voxin is fully customizable. If a patient doesn't need one of the therapies, they don't have to have it. Voxin was designed from the hospital to the home and on patients five kilograms and above. Mechanical cough therapy is uh, effective and more comfortable technique to help patients with neuromuscular weakness to clear their airways. It's been around for many, many decades and in fact was used during the polio epidemics of the 1940s and 50s. Uh, it's useful for people who have neuromuscular weakness where the breathing muscles that allow people to cough and clear secretions are affected. So that might include people with spinal cord injury, neuromuscular diseases like ALS or muscular dystrophy, post-polio syndrome, and a variety of others. The devices work by really artificially coughing for the patient. That is, for an individual who, for instance, has muscular dystrophy, they use a face mask with the machine. The machine gives them a breath in, which we call insufflation, and then very quickly switches to outward flow or exufflation and basically helps vacuum the airways clear of secretions. So in that way, it is an artificial cough device. It's extremely effective and is much more comfortable than the standard ways of clearing secretion which involve catheters that can be placed into the airways of patients to uh, rid them of secretions. This is a lot less comfortable, more invasive, and so mechanical cough therapy is preferred if at all possible. The types of patients who benefit from mechanical cough therapy are those who have a weak cough due to weakness of the muscles or nerves. Those would be patients who have diseases such as spinal cord injury, muscular dystrophy, ALS, or other diseases that result in weakness of the cough muscles. In general, it is not useful for patients who have COPD or cystic fibrosis, but is really reserved for those who have muscle weakness impairing cough. Mechanical cough therapy appears to be much more comfortable compared to traditional techniques of catheter-based uh, tracheal suctioning. We also believe that there may be a reduced uh, infection rate because no catheter or foreign object enters the windpipe. And lastly, it may be that there is a reduced amount of suctioning that's needed for these patients in that there's no irritation to the airway by the suction catheter. And thus, patients might be able to wait longer between uh, suctioning episodes. In this technique, rather than a catheter being placed into the nose or mouth and thereby into the trachea to suction secretions, this device provides a non-invasive method of creating flow in the airway. During inhalation, the device creates a positive pressure and flow into the lungs, and then the device quickly turns to a negative pressure, which creates a natural and effective cough. Overall, in my practice, I found that patients and families appreciate this much more, find it much less irritating, uh, much more comfortable, and once they've used the non-invasive techniques, they oftentimes prefer this over the uh, more invasive traditional methods. Mechanical cough therapy 
is a way of helping people with neuromuscular weakness that affects the cough to be able to clear secretions from the airway. One cough cycle is composed of an inspiratory, an expiratory, and a pause phase. Mechanical cough therapy can be used by patients non-invasively via face mask or through a tracheostomy tube. Uh, later we're going to demonstrate how that's done. There are about four to six cough cycles that compose a sequence of the cough therapy and then 20 to 30 seconds of resting time between the sequences, allowing for secretion removal. A treatment is composed of four to six sequences and can be performed several times a day or even more frequently if needed. Preferably, therapy should be performed in the morning, before meals, and at bedtime, and we suggest that patients do this on a regular basis. The traditional challenges with cough therapy that Voxin addresses are the fact that uh, patients and their families need multiple devices to actually perform the maneuvers. Um, one would have a ventilator and then a cough device, and in the case of Voxin, only one device is needed, and in fact, suction is included with the Voxin, and therefore, ventilation, cough and suction are immediately available. It cuts down on the weight of the devices and increases portability. In the case of the Voxen, it's extremely simple and intuitive. There's a touch screen. The cough function is easy to set up and there's actually a touch button cough which can be uh, activated with a simple touch of a button. Let's take a closer look at touch button cough therapy with Voxin. Because Voxin seamlessly integrates all five therapies, there are several benefits of cough therapy with Voxin. Touch button cough is designed to achieve six goals. First, cough therapy was designed to reduce patient anxiety by ensuring uninterrupted ventilation because patients should not have to be disconnected from the ventilator to cough. Two. Touch button cough saves time by providing cough therapy in seconds rather than minutes. Third, touch button cough is designed to reduce the risk of infection by eliminating the need to frequently disconnect the patient circuit. Fourth, cough therapy on Voxin is designed to increase the use of cough therapy by making it mobile, simple, and easy to use. Five, Voxin, using the humidifier bypass, is the first system to deliver cough therapy to patients using a heated circuit. Six, using external high pressure sources, Voxin is the first system to deliver cough therapy with supplemental oxygen during inhalation. When using the Voxin oxygen concentrator, oxygen's paused during the therapy. However, the therapy is completed in seconds and thus decreasing the risk of oxygen desaturation. Most importantly, Touch button cough just makes coughing easier. Rather than using multiple devices and circuits, touch button cough system allows patients to use the same circuit for both ventilation and cough. All five therapies, including cough therapy, can be ran on battery. From my home screen, all I have to do is press the therapy tab, and then you'll notice that I have the C for cough. With cough therapy, we have three presets, which are fully customizable. You can name them however you wish, if you want to make any changes to them, all you have to do is press the settings icon. So as I scroll up, I have all your traditional cough therapy settings. I have your insufflation pressure, your exufflation pressure, your insufflation time, your exufflation time. It's real easy to make any changes. For instance, say I want to change the cough cycles. All you have to do is highlight cough cycles, edit, and type in two. Now breath sinks on right now. Much like triggering our breath during ventilation, Voxin allows the patient to comfortably trigger a cough during a natural point in the breath cycle. The cough plus suction feature helps streamline the secretion clearance process. When enabled, cough plus suction means the suction therapy automatically activates with cough therapy and keeps running for an additional two minutes after the therapy's over. Now, 
we'll see two patient examples, one invasive and one non-invasive example. And now we're going to do a demonstration of invasive cough therapy with Voxin. Hi, I'm Loa. I have a spinal cord injury, and I'm here to demonstrate touch button cough with Voxin. Now Loa is using a heated active circuit using the humidifier bypass. In order to get to the cough therapy, all you have to do is press C for cough. Now you'll notice that we have three presets which are fully customizable for whatever the patient may need. I just set these up as a low, medium, and high cough, just like you and I may have a low or a high cough. Today we're going to demonstrate the low cough. With the low cough, I set a breast sink and a cough plus suction. Lo, are you ready? I am. With touch button cough, all I have to do is just hit start. Voxin sinking with the patient's breath, at a natural point it will deliver the cough therapy. Now after the therapy's over, Voxin displays a summary of the cough therapy. And you'll notice that I have a little S icon and it's counting down. So suction will continue to run for an additional two minutes after the therapy's over. That allows the caregiver to clear the airway and remove the secretions from the suction line. You know what happens, and this happens all the time, is the catheter gets stuck on the inner, on the inner, yeah, and you're trying to twist it, and then I finally got it in on the last one. I didn't want to go too far. Another method to doing cough therapy is utilizing corrugated tubing, a filter, and a 15 millimeter adapter. So I'm just going to disconnect LOA. And now we're going to press C for cough. You'll notice that we have three presets which are fully customizable for whatever the patient may need. We just set these up today as a low, medium, high cough, just like you and I may have a strong cough or a soft cough. Today we're going to demonstrate the low cough. The low cough I set up to have breast sink and cough plus suction. Lo, are you ready? I am. With touch button cough, all you have to do is just hit start. Voxin sinking with the patient's breath, at a natural point it will deliver the cough therapy. So the secretions will fall down into the corrugated tubing if the patient has any. After the therapy is over, Voxin seamlessly transitions right back into ventilation and you'll also notice that Voxin displays a summary of the cough therapy. And now we're going to demonstrate non-invasive cough therapy with Voxin. Today I'm here with Justin. Hi, my name is Justin. I have Becker's muscular dystrophy and I'm here to help demonstrate Voxin. In order to get into cough therapy with Voxin, you touch the therapy tab. Next, I'll press C for cough. And I've already set up our three presets to low, medium, and high. For right now, we're going to demonstrate the low cough. For an example of non-invasive, I've set up this mass ventilation with this piece of six inch corrugated tubing and a filter. All I'm gonna do is disconnect Justin's mouthpiece and then put the mask on and hit start. And then just hit start. Now that the cough therapy is done, I'm just going to replace the mouthpiece again. And we're right back into ventilation. I've configured this cough with cough plus suction. Justin, are you ready? Yes, I am. I'm just going to disconnect the mouthpiece and hook them up to the cough. Suction 
automatically starts in the background. And suction will run for an additional two minutes after the cough therapy is over so you can remove the secretions. But if you need to make any changes to the vacuum pressure, all you have to touch is that icon. And just hit stop when you're done. For patients using bi-level ventilation and cough therapy, we recommend setting up a cough prep mode of ventilation to reduce nuisance alarms and nuisance air in the patient's face during that face mask transition. First, check your bi-level settings by touching the settings icon. You can scroll up and see all your natural settings. And then we'll exit out and we set this one up as cough prep. We'll take a look at that and touch the settings icon. And all our settings are the same except for we turned volume targeted on and we turned all the alarms off. Now we're gonna do a demonstration of cough therapy with a patient that does bi-level ventilation at nighttime. So you, what you'll see is we have our normal bi-level mode of ventilation, but we've also set up a cough prep mode of ventilation. So I'm just gonna activate that cough prep mode of ventilation by touching my therapy, V for ventilation, cough prep, and just hit start. But now the patient needs some cough therapy at nighttime. So we'll just exit out, go to C for cough, and we have three presets which are fully customizable. I just set these up as a low, medium, or a high cough. Today we're gonna to demonstrate a low cough, and I set this low cough up to have breath sync. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect the bi-level mask, and I'm gonna hook up this mask that I've already set up. I've got a cough mask and a piece of six inch corrugated tubing and a filter. Are you ready? Yes, I am. So we're just gonna disconnect the mask. Place the mask and just hit start. <laughs> now that the therapy's over, I'm just going to replace the bi-level mask. And you'll notice that Vox has seamlessly transitioned from ventilation to cough and back to ventilation. It also displays a summary of the cough therapy that was just given. And lastly, you want to exit out and go back to ventilation and go back to your normal bi-level settings. Thank you, Loa and Justin. With Voxin, you not only get all five therapies in one portable device, but you can track all five therapies as well. By navigating to the menu tab, you'll see the log icon. Just touch that and you'll see the alarms and the events. You touch the events and that's where you get access to our therapy tracker where you'll see everything that has happened with this patient. For instance, you can see that I started a cough and all the details about that cough. This can be beneficial for both charting as well as compliance with doctor's orders. Touch button cough is simple, mobile, and care changing from the hospital to the home.